Great day, attractive thinker, Dr. Tony Hatton here, your Break the Cycle Specialist at theattractivethinker.guru. I am here to support you with giving birth to your dream baby, giving birth to your idea. Now, here's the deal, attractive thinker. You already know you're talented. You already know you have gifts. You already know that you have skills and abilities that people applaud you for, that compliment you on them. And you already know that there are things that you do and you forget the time and you forget to eat and you forget that the day has gone by and you get so engrossed in it that you don't want to leave. You don't want to stop. You already know that there are things that capture your attention, things that you do well without even thinking about it. You already know that. But do you know also how valuable they are to others? Do you realize, have you even considered that they aren't just for you, that you were supposed to discover that about yourself, that you were supposed to develop it and use it and package it and shape it to serve it to the world so that it's not just a blessing to you and your family. It's now blessing millions. It's now blessing others. Did you know that that thing that you do so well, that you give away for free, that people will pay you for it? Did, do you, did you ever consider that? Did, 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 does that make you stumble and fall? Does it make you trip? Does it make you feel inadequate? Have you ever pondered, how do I take this thing that I do so well and shape it in such a way that people can benefit from it? How do I, great day, attractive thinker, David. Woo! I haven't seen you in so long. I haven't heard from you. Oh, that's so amazing. I trust that all is well. Awesome to see you. Great day, attractive thinker, Otis. Wonderful, wonderful. I'm so glad that you joined us. You know, I want to inspire you. I want to challenge you to, to go deeper, to dive deeper. There's something else. That thing that you're currently doing, yeah, that's cool. But there's something else because I know because you're endless. There's no end to you. You haven't worn all the hats that you're going to wear in this lifetime. There's no end to your greatness. It's time to discover more. It's time to discover something else. And in order to do that, you got to get crystal clear. You got to get quiet. You got to pay attention to who you are and what you're doing and why you do what you do and, and, and paying attention to the things that you do so well that you aren't monetizing or that you aren't sharing with others. The things that you do well will change so many people's lives. Think about that attractive thinker. We're not finished. There's no end to us. Think about the wonderful things that you do just for fun because you like doing them. Do you realize that other people are struggling with the things that you do for fun, the things that you don't even think about, the things that you do without effort? People are struggling with that. That's what we're here to serve to the world. You know, a lot is going on in our world today. And I get these questions all of the time, you know, like, why this and why that? Or what should we do about this? Or what, what can we do about that? And, and this is going on and that is going on. When people like you, attractive thinkers, stand up and own your place in the world and own who you are and are confident and bold that you came for as a solution, then it changes the world. Number one, the change has to start with you. It has to change you first. Your confidence level, your commitment level, your courageous spirit. You have to be so confident in who you are, just like you know your name. Be confident in your gift like that. Be confident that you are a solution to this problem, to what's going on in our world today. You are the answer to that. We have to dust ourselves off and square our shoulders and stand up and take a stand. I heard, I hear people say down through the years, the only way darkness can prevail is when people of light sit by and do nothing. We can no longer sit by and do nothing. We can no longer gather on conference calls and just talk about what's going on in the world and just talk about, you know, the things that we see that we're displeased with and just talk about how this is taken over and that's taken over and this is, this is not right and that's not right. We're here. This is our time. This is our generation that this is happening in. And we are light. As attractive thinkers, we are the light. And we're, the only way our light can shine is if we're doing what we're called to do. What are we called to do? We're not called to just go, go to work, pay bills, go to homeschool, work in church, go to the market, go to the library, get, watch a movie here, there, have a couple of babies, get married. We're not here just for that. 
What about your greatness? What about the, 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 the mandate on your life to be fruitful, to multiply, to subdue, to have dominion, to increase, to create? Think about that attractive thinker. That's what we're supposed to be doing in the world. And when our light shines, you don't even have to worry about the darkness. Think about that. When you go in your house, the first thing you do is, is, is flip that light switch. You don't have to worry about the dark. Oh, man, it's so dark in here. I don't even know what I'm going to do about this darkness. It's too dark in here. I can't even find my shoes. I can't find my keys. I don't even know where to put my bag. Now, you don't have to worry about any of that when you flip that light switch. Because as soon as the light comes on, darkness automatically is, is, is dispelled. It goes away. It's light is, darkness is a, a, a reflection. It's, it's a result of, of no light. To me, darkness isn't even a thing. It's, it's, a, it's a result of the light not being on. It's a result of us not shining. So what if we shine our light so bright that there's no more darkness? We don't have to talk about what's going on in the world. We don't have to complain about the, and be sad. I stopped watching the, the news a long time ago because it made me so sad. I, I hurt for people. You know, the, the work that I do, you got to have a certain level of compassion to help someone where they are and pull them up to where they need to be. If you don't have compassion for people, how are you helping them? You don't, you don't have the heart to help them. You don't even care. So because I have that kind of spirit, I stopped watching the news because I hurt for people that I didn't even know. And I always, I went to bed looking for solutions and it was in my mind, I was consumed with it. And now a, a tear would come into the corner of my eye or even, even fall, roll down my cheek for the nonsense that we see going on in our world today. All we have to do is shine our light. And, and when you begin to shine your light, the, the first person it affects is you. And then you continue to shine brighter and it begins to affect your family. Their light comes on because you're shining your light. And it, have you ever watched a child or a baby? If you smile, they'll smile back at you. If you touch your nose, they'll touch their nose. If you clap your hands, they'll clap their hands. If you shine your light, they will shine their light. Have you ever been driving down the street? Great day, attractive thinker, Marla. Good to see you here. Wonderful, attractive thinker, Lakeisha. Great day, attractive thinker, Esther. Awesome that you joined. Have you ever been driving down the street and your light was not on? Attractive thinker, hear me, hear me, hear me. Hear me when I say this, and your light was not on. What did it compel the other person to do? They started flickering their lights to notify you to turn your light on. Why? Who told them that I was even supposed to have my light on? What, what's the big deal? Why did they feel responsible for telling me to turn my light on? Because we're supposed to be shining. We're supposed to have our light on when it's dark. When it's dark, attractive thinker, why aren't you, you shining? Think about that. Why, are we, why doesn't that notify us to shine brighter when we see darkness? Attractive thinkers don't walk in the dark. We, we don't settle in the dark. We, we don't get comfortable with the dark. We don't uh, come into a room and it's dark. We say, oh, you just keep on going, falling and, and knocking into stuff and knocking stuff over, just putting your bag down any old way and, and, and falling face first on the floor. We don't do that. If we come into an, an environment and it's dark, number one, everywhere we go, we're shining. So no matter where we go, there's light. And if the light isn't on, because we bring light, everybody else start turning their light on. Like, who is this coming in here with all this light? Let me turn my light on. It compels you to turn your light on. Hey there, attractive thinker Marla. Great day, attractive thinker Muriel. Good to see you. It compels us to turn our light on. We don't have a choice as attractive thinkers. It is our responsibility. How do you turn your light on? Getting crystal clear about who you are, being confident that you are a solution, not chasing money. Yes, we all need money, but if that's your main goal, you're missing out on all of the resources that you have inside of you to be a solution to people's lives. 
to help them transform their lives. People need help. If you, even if you might say, well, I, I don't have anything to offer anybody. Or, uh, I don't know how to help anybody. Even if you are a step ahead of them, you can help them. Think about that. If Think about a staircase. If I step up on, let's say me and five friends are on the bottom of the staircase and we're attempting to go up. If I step up on the first step and they're one step below me, you don't think I can help them get to the next step? Yes, because I've already taken that step. I'm, I'm even in a position. It's, diff it's more difficult to pull someone up to the first step if you're not on the first step first. When I'm on the first step, I'm, I'm even in a better position to, to help you up onto the first step with, with less effort than if I was standing down at the bottom of the staircase with you. So as attractive thinkers, we have to take that next step. It's our charge. We are commissioned to shine our light, to be the first, to take the first step, to lead, to be the leader. People are looking for leaders. They're looking for people who know the way. And as an attractive thinker, you know the way. You know how to shine your light. You know how to get things done. You know how to accomplish things. You know how to die empty. You know how to create and give birth to your dreams. You know how to not walk around here full and all of these ideas and not giving birth to them. Help people give birth to their dreams. That's, that's half of the battle right there. That brings meaning and fulfillment to people's lives. That positions them to be in the, in the, in the place that they're supposed to be for their purpose and their destiny. How is it that, that, that we're in, in place of our purpose and destiny? We're not happy. We don't have joy. We don't have meaning and fulfillment. That's impossible. And I understand that we all go through the spect spectrum of emotions. But when you're around the right people and you're in the right place, that's half the battle right there. When you fall, you recover quicker. Think about this. If you fall, you're not around people who know what to do when somebody falls. What do they do? They stand there and look at you. They'll, they'll hold their phone out and videotape you falling on the ground, trying to get up or in pain. You, have you ever seen people videotape somebody in pain? That's crazy. Instead of helping them, I, I used to watch some videos and I'm like, how, who's videotaping? This person is laying on the ground, you know, in pain. Who's doing the videotaping? The person videotaping could have helped. Think about that attractive thinker. When 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 you're in the right environment and you fall and you're surrounded by attractive things, it's just a matter of seconds before you fall off of that floor. It's just a matter of seconds before you get the help that you need, the solutions that you need. Great day, attractive thinker, Diane. It's good to see you. Think about that attractive thinker. But when you're not in the right environment, you're not surrounded by eagles. You're not surrounded by people who know how to respond in a crisis, who know how to, you're not surrounded by people who support you and want you to be your higher self. When you fall, sometimes people keep right on going. They be like, mm, dang, she fell on the ground. Or he dropped, he fell and dropped his food. Or they'll pull out their phone and videotape it and want to post it, you know? Or they'll stand there and watch and see if somebody else was going to come and help you. Because you're not around the right people. You're not in the right environment. But as attractive thinkers, we already know we don't do that. We hang around our own kind, people who don't take no for an answer. We hang around people like that. So when we can't encounter a roadblock, if we look like, if we look like we're going to pull back, we got 10 people behind us pushing us forward. But uh, 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 no, 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 we don't pull back up in here. We cross over as attractive thinkers. Think about that for a moment. Are you positioning yourself to be greater? Are you positioning yourself to do more, to be more? Great day, attractive thinker, Denise. Phone is breaking up. Can I watch later? Absolutely. Just come right back to this page. The, the, the message will be posted right here on this page. It's so good to see you. Thank you for, for joining us. You know, attractive thinker, I want to inspire you, to encourage you to go deeper. There's more. If you need support and you're not sure how to get that clarity, how to put it all together, I offer a free coaching session at getunstuck.com and put my website right at the end, theattractivethinker.guru. All of my pages have my website tagged at the end, www.getunstuck.com. 
dot the attractive thinker dot guru g u r u get on my calendar choose a day and time that's convenient for you and get the clarity that you need not just before this year is out before our time is up we're on the stage of life right now lights camera and action what are you creating what are you performing what are you sharing what is your crap who are you helping we're on the stage that the curtains are, don't wait until the curtain is pulled and then you try to run around creating stuff saying oh my god i forgot to do this and i forgot to do that and i really wanted to do this and if i had an, if i had another chance if i had another chance i'd do that if i had another chance god please give me another chance give me some more time you know you don't have as attractive thinkers we don't do that we're constantly producing as attractive thinkers we're constantly creating because we know that's why we are here. We know that's our assignment. And also we are full. We never run out of ideas. So what are you going to do with all those ideas? You got to give birth to them. You have to create them. You have to share them with others. You have to manifest them in the world because you are a solution. You are a solution to so many people's problems. So you don't have to shake your head anymore when you hear something sad or something that, 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 that didn't work out for somebody. No, be a solution. As an attractive thinker, ask yourself, how can I help? What can I do? Think about that, attractive thinker. All of those incredible things that you do for yourself with ease, without even thinking about it, thousands, millions of people could benefit from the same thing you're benefiting from. Dr. Tony Hatton here. Remember, do not miss this opportunity to get on my calendar because my calendar is filling up and I don't know, it may go into next year, but you got, you have some time to get in, in there and, and, and book that time that's convenient for you with a vision expert, somebody that can shine the light and give you clarity and laser focus on your next steps and, and go deeper, you know, help you understand what the real blocks are, because I guarantee you what you think is stopping you, it has nothing to do with what's stopping you really on a deeper level. So visit the website, www.getunstuck.attractivethinkguru, G-U-R-U. My life's work, that's always to make your life better. Remember, it is not what you're going through. It's how you're viewing it. Think attractively. And thank you so much for the hearts and the likes. It's good to see you all here. Make it a great day. I'll talk to you soon.